so there I was this morning. I woke up and I thought to myself, geez, I wish I had some cowboy hat earrings, but I don't have a cowboy hat and I don't have any earrings. And all I've got is a couple pennies and some silver wire. I'm sure you guys have found yourself in a very similar situation. That's why I'm gonna show you how to make some cowboy hat earrings out of some pennies and some 20 gauge silver wire. I picked out a couple pennies that were pre-1982, so that way they're going to be pure copper. Pennies after that were copper-plated zinc, and that's not going to work out for what we're trying to do. Now that we have our copper pennies, we need to soften the metal by annealing them. Now that our pennies are all nice and soft, it's time to start shaping them to a cowboy hat. And what we're going to be using for that is this. This is a pretty cool little tool I got from King's Coin Ring Tools. I had this little washer here with a hole in the center of it, and this is going to center our pennies. Just line your penny up behind it, and then mark it with the Sharpie. And now we'll just put it in this little spot here that holds it, and then we're going to create a little dent there with the punch. Now we have this little supplied ball bearing that we'll put on there. And we'll slide this sleeve over it and then put this part over the top of that. All right, now it's time to press it. And now what I'm gonna be using to press is a little one ton arbor press. You could use that, a six ton A-frame press, or if you have a ring stretcher reducer, that would work fine too. And could it work in a vise? Probably. If you guys try it, let me know. That's our ball bearing there. And there's the start to our cowboy hat. So that's a little bit uneven right now. What I'm gonna do is turn it around, put it back in here, remove this ball bearing, and then press it down again. All right, that'll even everything up real nice. All right, looking good. I just wanna get this thing halfway cleaned up with some 4-0 steel wool before we go a whole lot farther. Now we're gonna take our penny and start to fold the sides of the brim up. And this is what I'm gonna use. Just put your crescent wrench on here and then tighten it down and then we'll bend it against this table. There's the start and you can bend it more or less, it's completely up to you. Now I'll do the other side. And I'm using a pretty narrow crescent wrench. If you had yourself a wider crescent wrench, you could get a different sized brim bend too. There's lots of different ways you can do that to bend them differently. And at this point, you can also put a little triangular piece of metal right here at the top and then press in a crease in your hat if you wanted to. But I'm not going to, this is exactly the way I want it. All right, now what we need to do is drill a hole in the side and get it ready to put on the ear wire. Then we'll just clean off any burrs with a bigger drill bit. And now to make the earring portion of this, we're going to be using some 20 gauge silver wire. And I'm going to need about 3 inches of this stuff. Time to fold this thing in half. Get some little round nose flyers and round them up. Now we're gonna finish forming the ear wires. This pin's about the right size I'm looking for. It's around seven to eight millimeters in diameter. Now take it and start bending it around. And that is what we have. And now what we need to do is trim off that little bit of extra. It's a little bit longer on that side than the other side. So we're gonna trim those off to make them even. Now that we have that, we're going to take some pliers and bend a little 45 degree angle on these guys. Okay, time to separate these guys. Cool. And now the only thing we need left to do, clean up these ends of the file and make them all rounded and smooth. And 
Now we have our completed ear wires and I've got two completed cowboy hats as well. I'm going to put them on and then close this gap. Nice little set of penny cowboy hat earrings. Anyway, it's a fun little project to do. It doesn't cost a ton for the tools. And if you're doing craft shows or anything like that, these will sell like hotcakes. You can make them while you're right at a show, even if you wanted to. And this little tool also does quarters too, so keep that in mind. And if you guys are interested, I will make sure to throw a link in the description box below to his website where you can get one of those little tools. All right, thanks for watching to the end of the video. And make sure you check out this video in the top left-hand corner of the screen if you guys want to enter to win that complete tool set giveaway. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time.